with the rise of the of technology, I think that people are more inclined to like to like what they like and not be so ashamed of it and afraid of it. Also, also it's connected the world. So now we have outlets for this stuff. Like, come on, oh, yeah. try like, try being like, Oh, you know, the misfits were like a horror punk band on, on their own. There was no other, maybe neck, the necros or like uh, the manimals, you know, mm-hmm. from uh, Cleveland. If I go, if you dig really deep, but like there was really <laughs> no, like they're just a punk rock band. Right. But they, they had kind of cornered that, that part of it they were doing the horror thing but think about you guys it's like you know if you want to be if you want to be part of a movement or something or, or you want to have like the horror rock scene you could go on the internet now and like there's probably a forum or a facebook group like horror punks worldwide united and everybody can congregate it's amazing mm-hmm. right so so long story short when we started night demon in 2011 we had no fucking idea that what was happening around the world like we we just we were, we were making music for fun and like we we had no aspirations at all cuz we're come from we come from the hardcore punk scene and that's very rich where we're from and for for our friends like metal is like a novelty and they really liked they liked what we were doing you know and but no, nobody would ever take it seriously right out there so once 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 the internet got a hold of night demon and we were like what the fuck like getting festival offers overseas like pretty much overnight uh label oh. offers we're like who the fuck are we're finding out hey there's other bands like us there's younger bands doing this kind of style it's just fucking crazy so i think that technology has made it so there there's like there are probably other subgenres of music that we don't know about that's way more popular than anything that we know too, right? We we may never know about them, but think about it. Everybody has their own website now. And yeah, yeah. all they do is they go on their own website every day and they see what they're <laughs> and they see what their they see what their immediate friends are talking about and like, and they're part of a clique and they're part of a group. And it never goes outside of that. Maybe if you see like a guy that you went to school with that you haven't seen since the eighth grade, it will pop up and like well, you'll, you'll discover something new, but probably not, you know, like, so it's, it's like, no, but think about it. There's probably a guy that like all his friends are just horror punkers. Right. Yeah. And like, it's just constant. It's a constant stream of that. So you're just, you're in the know. I mean, you could, you can have scenes now of anything. There's people that play. I mean, there's a bunch of dorky shit too, but it's like, it's way bigger than anything we're doing, you know, like, <laughs> yeah, but crazy. you know what I'm saying? Right. So that's the reason, yeah. that's the reason I don't think it ever went away as far as what people liked, but God, it's gotta be hard when there's nobody doing it. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, I was playing all kinds. I played all kinds of different styles of music just for the reason that like, why be in a metal band if there's no bands to play with? Like, it's hard, you know? So, I mean, I'm sure you guys can relate if you're in a, in the desert, you know, trying to be, <laughs> trying to fucking dig up graves in the, in the sand. <laughs> 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 